Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I am so, so excited because I've been waiting what seems like an eternity <laughs> to open this um, really cute vintage, I can't remember, it's from the 90s, 1998. It is the Special Collections Holiday Presents Gift Set. I got this, I think, I want to say two years ago, and it's literally just been sitting in the closet, multiple closets, for moving and stuff like that, and I really want to get it out of the box because it looks like some things are starting to yellow, and I mean, it is such a cute, cute, cute set, and I started decorating my Barbie house for Christmas. It's not even near done. I just took all out all the other mess and clutter that was in there and I'm starting fresh. So I have my some nutcrackers and a Christmas tree. I stopped to decorate the tree and yeah, just a few little Nicky knack things in there so far. But anyways, before I start rambling on and on and on, let's get this out of the box. And maybe I don't need to go that far down. But and then also I'm gonna show you some a few other things that I'm gonna be putting in the house. I have some old vintage and when I say vintage I mean from like my childhood. <laughs> um so like the eighties maybe even before, because they were my mom's from a long time ago. Um, she gave them to me because she knows that I love Christmas and I loved all those really old ornaments. And they're so cute. Oh, this is like opening history. <laughs> oh my goodness, how do I even get this open? There's two little flaps, and then there's I'm curious as to how I even open this. How do you get it open? I really don't want to ruin the box. I want to be able to put it back in and out, but I don't think, oh, I thought it was going to be easier than this, but apparently you can't just slide it in and out. Well, that's unfortunate. So, I'm just going to have to pick a side and maybe I'll do the writing side and maybe just... Isn't that such a cute... I love when they used real Barbies and made like a little background. It is so cute. And... Oh no, I am going to have to ruin this box. Or wait, this one is coming much easier. So I'm just going to slide that. I don't understand why they would even like have all those corners tape. Anyway, we got it out. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Look at this. So, so, so cute. Oh. Okay, I don't even know where to start. But let's Look at all the things. So I guess we'll start here. This cute little teddy bear. I have a, this one that I got in a thrift store. And they're almost the same size. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. You can go under the Christmas tree too, I think. But it's an actual real stuffed bear. Not like now all the stuffed, stuffed animals are plastic. Well, that's really cute. He's going to go under there, too. And the next item. So I'm going to 
looking at the top of my hand there. Oh, this is so cute. I always thought that this was like a holiday Barbie, but it's actually just a little doll. I wonder if she comes out. She has to come out. Oh, she does come out. Oh, that is just precious. Look at her. all the way around just so cute that is really adorable that was just on there protecting it I think oh that's so cute see this top piece is yellowed and it doesn't come with like a lid or anything which is interesting I guess this is supposed to be the lid but yeah, there she goes. Well, she can go under the tree too. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Hmm. I don't want to break anything. Jeez, the bees. I'm gonna cringe while I try to. Whoops. <laughs> There's Ken, a watch for Ken. Oh, that is cute. It's a hard plastic. Um, it does not come with a what are these? Oh, I don't know. These are like little hmm. Well, here's the watch. I'm going to put this up here, too, so I don't lose it. Um, surprised they didn't come with, like, more uh, gift boxes. Oh, okay. So this must be the lid for the doll. So I'm going to take this off. And it actually has a little tissue paper that you can fold over. And then put this on top. Oh, that's so cute. That's really cute. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's really nice. <gasps> wow. This is definitely feels like Christmas. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty that purse is, and it's a, like a velvet. It's so cute and shiny. Does it open? Oh, no, it doesn't open. Well, I thought it opened. Well, that's too bad, but that's okay. That's still a very, very beautiful purse. And I do believe this also comes with a lid. makes wrapping really easy for the Barbies. That is so cute. And there's another present for under the tree. Look at that. Oh, this is a headband. I don't have a model Barbie here. But here's a headband. Oh, and it has like the same design as the purse. And it is also very shiny. And then to go with the same design, we have this beautiful gold necklace. And they all have like a light pink um, gem in the center there. I really want to see these chocolates. Oh, there we go. Well, that's the lid, and it's Godiva chocolate. That's good chocolate. 
so here's the chocolates they are not individual they don't come out but that's still pretty neat they all have like their own individual spot but again they are it's all connected oh that's so pretty that can go under the tree as well Mm -hmm. A little gingerbread house, a pink gingerbread house. That is so cute. I have my homemade one right here. <laughs> it leaves something. I'm not even finished. I forgot to frost this side. And the rest of it is done. I did. I think it looks pretty cute. And it's way bigger than this itty bitty house. But this one is super cute and detailed. It's hollow though. That's really cute. Put that one back in the kitchen. And then this one can go on the kitchen table. Uh, ooh, we got a little. The one thing I was, I kind of had wished was that these tea set was Christmas theme, but it's not. It's just got pink flowers on it, which is fine. I like pink flowers, but whoa, that went far. Oh. Um, but yeah, I really wish that they were. I have to <laughs> grab that other plate there. Oh, that's so cute. There is some teacups for the Barbies there. Wish I ha had a little table here, but I took everything out of the house. Okay, let's try and get this stuff out without... Oh, that's so cute. Here's for the milk. And the sugar. Does the tea lid come off? Oh, the lids actually come off. That is really neat. So, the sugar has a lid. If the sugar's lid comes off, then I'm sure... Yep, the teapot lid comes off too. That's really neat. I love tea sets. I have a few of them for Barbie. So, another one is always welcome. I actually just bought Christmas themed uh, tea dishes for myself, so. Uh, uh, this one is a little bit harder. You know, I don't know that I'm going to be storing all the stuff back in here after. It's real hard to get out. Oh, there we go. And I guess this is like a serving tray for everything. And it has like the fake gold trim all the way around it. Oh, and they all do. I should have told you that. All the dishes, including the teapot and the sugar, have like a gold rim. That is really fancy. Okay, we're nearly done here. Oh, that's so cute. This is a little tie for Ken. That's really neat. Look at that. I do not know how to tie a tie, but that's still pretty neat. Let's see how long it is. I wonder if you could actually... Whoa, that's really long. If you could actually tie the tie, if you knew how to tie a tie on can. I'm going to have to get my husband to do it. See if it will actually work. It's just a really cheap, thin material, though, from a plaid. Maybe you weren't supposed to undo it, but that's okay. Oh, no, it's all messy, and it doesn't want to fold back up. Had a feeling that was going to happen, but that's okay. Just gonna shove it back in the box. Uh, I'll have to come back and do it neater after. And this must be the lid.
away. Okay, we'll do the lid after. Let's get this. Every man oh. that I know has model cars. Hot Wheels. That's pretty neat. Look at that. My dad, my husband, my father-in-law, they all have model cars. That's pretty neat. It's definitely something that you would find in a man cave or something. Oh, there we go. thought it was coming. There we go. And then that just goes over that. The tie. I might stick something else in there. Like, I mean, I think that would be better for these shoes. Look at how cute they are. And these two have like a felt. And then they have the pink and the gold. So, so pretty. So pretty and then oh we're almost done this stuff I just is so tiny what is that oh that was just for something else okay This is actually a little case, and it says Ken on it, and you can stick this in there. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like cologne. Oh, duh, Ken. That would be pretty neat, and it per fits perfectly. And then you also get... A, like a tiny little razor for Ken and then a little puff for shaving that is really really neat that's so cool I'm just gonna put those in this little thing so they don't get lost and that is basically it except for these things I have no idea what they are. They're just like colored ribbon. What are they for? Oh, they're just decoration. As you can see here, they just have them on the table and on the couch. That's interesting. Make it look like they've been opening presents all morning. Uh, it would have been neat if they added like a Christmas tree or something in the background. But that's just me. Oh, wow, this video is getting long already. Uh, I might just keep you for another few minutes, if you don't mind. I just wanted to share with you. Well, I'm going to be decorating something with this. But um, a few things that I found that I thought were really cute. And that I'm going to be adding as decorations for the dollhouse. And this was an ornament that I found. Or, the, yeah, that I found and bought. A few years ago it's like the Fisher Price farm a vintage style farm for little people and I actually have this um, exact farm and it is exactly the same down to the posters and stuff on the back oh and then I made this Grinch before Christmas or the how the Grinch stole Christmas. I made this, by the way. It's really bad, but I made it, so I'm proud of it. Um, this was an ornament, but the string fell out, so I just used this around the dollhouse. And this was also my parents. And then this, again, was an ornament, and I thought it was really cute. You can put it in the dollhouse. It's just a wooden... Choo-choo train. 
And then these were actual <laughs> ornaments for, you know, life-size tree. But look how tiny that is. I am going to actually just hang them on my tree. Well, not my tree, but my Barbie tree. They're perfect size for the Barbie house. And then there's another one. It's a little snowman. He's missing one arm, but that's okay. And he can go up here. And then... I, this little thing, I don't even, this was my mom's, but she gave it to us when we were like, really, this is 40 years old or more, I don't know, it's a little basket made from wicker or something, I just think it's so gorgeous, and we used to play and put our shoes in here and stuff like that, and I just love this little thing, it brings back a lot of nostalgic memories for me and that would look really good under the tree too and then I have another ornament here this one's not vintage per se at least I don't think it is I think this one's kind of newish but I thought it was cute and I'm gonna add it to the Barbie house and then this is such a cute little Christmassy house. This also is an ornament. This one is definitely from when I was little. I remember all the wooden ones being on our tree. Put that up there. And then I found a few more. Uh, this little thing, I have no idea where I got that. But I'm going to add that into the tree or to the house. And these um, are old, but <laughs> these are supposed to go at like the bottom of those big taper candles. But it makes a really nice centerpiece or uh, wreath for the dolls as well. And then this another um, ornament from my childhood, a little angel. She's so cute. Uh, her wings are all bent, but she's very old. All this stuff is so fragile. Yeah, look at how tiny she is. And then, uh, one more of these little snowman guys. And I have one more up there. I don't know if you can see him. Let's see if I zoom. No, I can't zoom in. But he's right there. I'll do um, like a tour of my Christmas house once it's completely finished. Um, but yeah, here's another one. He's so cute. And again, I've had these, like these were my mom's. And then she handed them down to me. And one last little bell. And it has a little bit of a design there. And that can go on the tree too. Oops. The other one fell. Then I have, I bought these last year, um, some from the Dollarama, and those are just little Christmas presents, and then these are decorations that I've collected over the years, um, mostly from Dollarama and other places, I'll be using those as well, and then there's one other thing I wanted to show you, oh yeah, um, this little tree house, or not tree house, Christmas tree, I bought when I was little in the 90s at Dollarama, or the Dollar Store, um, and look how full it is, like I have a bunch of, and this was actually like a Christmas necklace mm, that I was using in the tree, but it's dead, so I think I'm going to take it out, anyway, the whole point of me showing you this is, this was, let's say, about 30 years ago, and this is now. <laughs> I mean, it's almost, like, it's mind-blowing to me. Um, like, I bought this when I was maybe, yeah, I don't want to say, in between 8 and 10 years old for my room. Because that's how much I loved Christmas, I wanted to 
have my whole room decorated. Um, and I bought a bunch of, and I still have some that I use for my main house as well. But yeah, this is from 30 years ago. And this is now. Wow, like this is Charlie Brown. And this almost could pass for a real tree. You know, it looks really good to me anyway. Obviously, it, I mean, but the vast difference is mind blowing. I mean, I still like these trees, but it's nothing compared to this one. So, anyways, I think I'm gonna cut my video there. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, I guess I could show you. I found these little trees. There was four of them for 50 cents at the dollar store. I've already used two of them for the Barbie house. But, yeah, the thrift store is a great place to find uh, Christmas decorations for the dollhouse, too. And you don't have to break the bank because, you know, buying dolls and doll stuff is already expensive enough. Anyways. Let's stop the video there. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy holidays. Hope you're enjoying all this Christmas cheer. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for following and watching and communicating with me. I really enjoy it. And I hope you like my Christmas earrings. And yeah, have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.